Is there an observation, not partially partial, but with all the senses observe? Which means, is there an observation without the past? Senses have no past, they are acting. You understand this? This marvel, I am discovering something myself. Hmm? That the senses are responding according to every challenge. And the senses, when they are functioning completely, there is pure observation. Isn't it? I wonder if you see this. And that observation is not induced by thought. Right? In that observation there is no centre from which to observe. There is only observation, pure and simple, without all the pressure and the volume of the past. Right? Which implies that one has to go into this whole question of discipline, because we are used to that. We are used to making effort. To learn is an effort. A language or anything is one one has to make tremendous effort. And is there a possibility of living? Please listen to this. Is there a possibility of living without a single shadow of effort? Ask yourself, please, find out the answer. Because we have made effort in every direction and we have not brought about a good society where people can live happily without fear, without terror, without uncertainty for all that is going on in the present world. And we say through organisation, making an effort to create an organisation will solve that. So we are questioning the whole movement of effort, effort to reach God, if there is a God effort to be noble, effort to to have good responsibility in our relationship. And so effort implies the action of will. You follow? Will is desire. And there are multiple forms of desires. And desire, in its activity, must create effort. If I want a good suit, I must make an effort. If I want to be good, quotes, I must make an effort to be good. If I want to reach God, we won't discuss God, but I must must fast, be a celibate, take vows, burn in myself, struggle, 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 great efforts to reach the ideal the highest principle, 
We are questioning that effort. Because we say, we are saying that in pure observation, which I have explained a little bit, there is no effort. There is only observation and action. I wonder if you get all this. I will go into it presently in more detail. <coughs> That's why one has to understand the whole nature of desire, because we are driven by desire, whether sexual, whether ambitious, um, you know, all the rest of it. Desire becomes the basis of our existence. So we have to go into this whole question of desire. Various monks throughout the world have said, no desire. If you reach, if you reach God, the highest principle, desire must be suppressed. You know all this. Look at all the monks throughout the world. They are ordinary human beings taking a vow, to serve God and concentrate all your energy on that, which means desire must be held, low, suppressed, or transmuted, and so on, so on. So one has to investigate desire, observe desire, not control, suppress, transform, just to observe desire, you understand? Pure observation of desire. In that, if you go into it deeply, thought doesn't enter at all. As we explained just now, I hope. Need I go back to it again? 